How to Reopen a Partially Closed Ear Piercing Hole Wearing earrings is a fun way to accessorize or transform your look, but if you do not wear earrings often, your piercings may begin to heal and close up. Professional help may be needed in some circumstances, but it is possible to reopen the hole at home if you sterilize your environment, work slowly, and take care to prevent pain and infection. With careful preparation and patience, you can safely reopen an earring hole and begin wearing earrings again. Method 1 Sterilizing Your Environment 1. Soften the skin around your earlobe Before attempting to reopen your earring hole, soften the skin by holding a warm washcloth to your earlobe or by taking a warm shower. This will make it easier to reopen the hole. 2. Wash your hands and wear latex gloves. Thoroughly wash your hands with warm water and antibacterial soap for 30 seconds to remove any dirt, debris, or bacteria. After you have completely rinsed and dried your hands, put on a pair of latex or rubber gloves. This will help prevent you from introducing bacteria into the earring hole. 3. Disinfect your earrings with rubbing alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol, commonly known as rubbing alcohol, can be found at a local grocery store or pharmacy. Rubbing alcohol is a strong disinfectant and kills most bacteria, fungi, and viruses living on a surface. Dampen a cotton ball or a cotton swab with the rubbing alcohol and clean a pair of earrings that have thin posts. You will be using these earrings to open your earring hole. Make sure you thoroughly clean the surface. Place the earrings on a clean surface to dry. If you have allergies, be sure to use a sterling silver or hypoallergenic earring to avoid an allergic reaction. 4. Clean your earlobe. Use a new cotton ball or cotton swab to clean your earlobe with rubbing alcohol. Be sure to clean the front and the back of the lobe and pay close attention to the opening of the earring hole. Method 2 Manually Opening the Earring Hole 1. Feel the back of your earlobe. You may feel a small knot where the piercing hole should be. This is not as composed of dead skin cells, which block the piercing hole as it tries to heal. If the hole seems to have healed entirely, you may need to seek the help of a professional to have your ears pierced again. Keep in mind that every person's healing time varies. You may be able to go several years without wearing earrings and still be able to reopen the hole at home, or your hole could close completely after many months. 2. Lubricate your earlobe Spread a generous amount of petroleum jelly or an antibiotic ointment over the earlobe to lubricate the area and reduce friction. Using your fingers, carefully rub the lubricant onto your earlobes. The added heat from your hands will also help soften the skin. 3. Stretch the earring hole. Using your fingers, gently pinch the sides of your earlobes and lightly pull in opposite directions. This will help the earring hole to open up slightly. This can help push some of the lubricant into the earring hole. Do not rub or pull on your lobes with too much force. 4. Coat the disinfected earrings with a lubricant. Add a thin layer of petroleum jelly or antibiotic ointment to the disinfected earring posts. Try to avoid getting the lubricant on the front of the earring so you do not have any issues keeping a firm grasp on the earring. Be sure that you are using earrings with thin posts. Thick earring posts may not be able to fit through a slightly closed ear piercing hole. Forcing a thick post into the earring hole may cause pain, scarring, or bleeding to occur. 5. Insert the earring into the piercing hole. While looking in a mirror, slowly insert the earring through the front with one hand. Use your free hand to grip your earlobe. Lightly press your thumb against the back of the piercing hole, where the knot of dead skin cells is located. 
6. Wiggle the earring in the piercing hole. Gently move the earring around the opening of the earring hole. You may also need to wiggle the earring around for several minutes to find an appropriate angle that allows you to push through the earring hole. Keep your thumb placed at the back of your earlobe so you can feel the location of the tip of the earring post. If you feel discomfort or pain, try numbing the earlobe with ice for a few minutes before trying again. If you continue to feel pain or discomfort during this process, you will need to seek the help of a professional. 7. Twist the earring dough to reopen the hole. Once you've found the piercing hole and the proper angle, slowly twist the earring through the hole. Do not apply too much pressure. Since the piercing hole is partially open and the ear and earring post are well lubricated, the post should feel as though it can easily slide through. If you cannot twist the earring through, stop and slowly insert the earring from a different angle. 8. Push the earring through. After you have twisted the earring around the hole to reopen it, gently push the earring post all the way through. Secure the earring with the earring back. Do not jam or force the earring in. This can lead to scarring or infections.